This is the Nest Learning Thermostat. I installed this last Friday, this is Monday, and uh, it's generated enough interest among my friends that I thought I'd make a short video to show how it works. So right now it's in its kind of sleep mode. Uh, the Nest is working, it is, uh, generate, it is regulating the temperature of the house right now, but it's not displaying anything. It uh, has a setting that allows it to come on as you approach it. I'm standing fairly still right now, but I'll move forward and move my hand in front of it and you see it lights right up. You can see the center says heat set to 67. That's the current setting for the thermostat. And then at the top you can see 69 with a little bar there. The uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that a little better. Um, the uh, so obviously the thermostat setting is lower than the current temperature in the room and we're fine with that. Now <clears throat> the learning thermostat has a lot of settings and you don't have to open it up or anything to do it. It's actually quite um, quite simple that the the outer ring here is a control and you can see in its, in its normal mode you can adjust where you want the thermostat to be. When we get to a point where it would start heating it turns into this angry orange red HAL 9000 sorry Dave I can't do that uh, mode and it shows the temperature that you're trying to get to. Well I'm going to put it right back down because we really don't need it to be any more than 69 degrees right now. It's a balmy uh, uh, day on in December in California. Now um, the other way you control it, the other control is that this first face plate you can just press on for a click and an initial click brings up this menu system and around the outside we have done, away, settings, energy, schedule and heat and cold so if I turn this one to the right and I press it lets me choose whether I want to heat or cool the house or turn the whole thing off and I'll just leave it on heat because yeah, right now that's what we need. Press it again and I can move to schedule um, and the Nest is learning thermostat so it's it's currently recording when we have adjusted it now we haven't done anything really on Wednesday it's kind of it's kind of suggesting how it's going to work through the week uh, when we get to Friday and Saturday we'll see a couple more interesting points these are points where we actually adjusted it some of these are me and Debbie fighting over the uh, the setting for the thermostat and um, so that's the schedule and as as we get more data points in the in the nest it'll start to build a bigger a better schedule um, energy shows us uh, what our usage has been so for example Friday had fairly low usage only seven minutes because you know that was when we installed it Saturday uh, I was home by myself pretty much most of the day and we only used it for 32 minutes but on Sunday everyone was here and we used it for an hour and a half. So it kind of shows you how long you're you're running the uh, running the heater and the air conditioner in the summer. So getting to uh, settings, settings is probably the biggest menu. I can uh, turn the fan from automatic to manual. Uh, lock the system if I wanted to, for example, um, make the uh, make it so that the kids couldn't get into it. Uh, and then whether it's on the learning schedule or not, what the brightness is, that the screen comes on when you approach, that the, the, the clicking as you move through menu items, I'll stay quiet for a second, and maybe you can hear that, I don't know. Uh, Fahrenheit or centigrade display a name for it because this actually lives on your network. If you have multiple thermostats throughout your house, you can address each one of them differently by the name. Your Nest account, your zip code, the current date and time, and this is kind of a neat one. If you press this, it shows you a wiring diagram of how it's currently wired, which is pretty cool, and what devices are installed. Uh, advanced takes you into a bunch of stuff that I'm not really going to get into right now. Um, and then there's technical info, legal info, and you can reset it. When we first installed this and got the network connected, it downloaded a software update to the system, which was kind of neat. And I suspect there might be occasion for it to do that in the future. Um, there's an away setting which has low and high temperatures where if we're not in the house, if it determines we're not in the house, these are the, or we've set it to a way, 
these are the lowest and highest that will allow the house to get to be. Um, and that's kind of it. Uh, as I said, it is addressable from the internet, and so there are applications both on the iPad and um, iPhone, one coming from the Android, as I understand. And of course, you can hit it from a web browser as well. And so if you've left the house, you can get to any one of those settings uh, remotely. And for example, if you left on vacation with, without forgetting uh, forgetting to turn the, the thermostat off, um, you could do that remotely. Or, as I mentioned before, you can just kind of use it to uh, fight over thermostat settings without even having to leave your easy chair. So that's uh, the Nest Learning Thermostat, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video because uh, it's currently sold out. Uh, but uh, so far, it's been pretty good. That's it.